Burglars caught on tape. The News on 6 has surveillance video from an Aninola convenience store that was broken into early Sunday morning. The men cut open the safe. They were working on the ATM when they were surprised by an employee. News on 6 crime reporter Lori Fulbright shows us that video. It's new at 6, Lori. Well, Scott and Terry, the funny thing about this video from the Fiesta Mart is it shows how much time the thieves spent trying to destroy the surveillance tapes, not realizing that a newly installed backup system was capturing their every move. The newly installed surveillance system clearly shows the burglars go for the store safe, which is underneath the counter. It's pretty heavy, but they manage to pull it out, then later push it onto a two-wheeler found inside the store before taking it to a back room and using tools to pry it open. The safe is still in the back room now, ready to be shipped off to a welder for repairs. The burglars used sawzaws to cut a hole in the roof, dismantled the alarm system, then dropped into the store. The video shows they were inside for two hours. Here, you can see them spend a few minutes of that, unwinding what they believe are the store's only surveillance videotapes. They made an effort to uh, dismantle the, the tape and the recording system. However, they weren't smart enough to figure out that there was a backup system. Even though their faces are covered, I know the police hope someone recognizes the men by their build or mannerisms. After getting into the safe, they went after the store's ATM. You can see them in the upper part of the screen. While they were trying to pry it apart, a store employee showed up for work and surprised them. They made her lie on the ground, then packed up their tools and ran off. It's clear these burglars are more professional than most, and that helps investigators narrow down the search. Not to be complimentary of these thieves and thugs, but they, they certainly have some expertise, and we know that there are a few people in the area that, that do possess that and are able to pull off these more sophisticated burglaries. The Rogers County Sheriff's Department and OHP are assisting Inola police in this case. A dog tracked the men sent out of the store to a nearby wooded area where they found a container the thieves had stashed that still contained almost all of the money from the safe. Anyone with more information about who these thieves are can call Inola police at 543-8288. Lori Fulbright, The News on 6.